Now you want to learn how to do a stop clock like this one right up over here. It's super easy. Make sure you watch the entire video so you don't miss any of this stuff. It is all very important how to get a time clock to look that good. And if you like these super quick DaVinci Resolve tutorials, make sure you subscribe up and hit the like button. Now adding a stopwatch or a time clock here into DaVinci Resolve, pretty easy. Over under the toolbox, under titles, just grab a text plus and drag it and drop it wherever you want this to be. Now, I went ahead and made cuts in the video already where I want it to start and stop. So I'm going to drag the text plus over that spot and I'm going to have to go past where I actually want it to time to. That way we can have it where it actually holds the time for a few seconds in order for you to talk about it in the video or whatever. So with this text plus selected, just have the playhead right at the beginning of the text plus. Go over to the inspector, select inside where you would normally type your text for a text plus and right click, come down to time code right here boom there you see it pop up and you see it go ahead and work now don't leave yet because you're really going to want to customize this to look way better first of all over in the inspector come down and you see where it says right on you drag these dots to the left and you see the numbers go away so that's if you don't want the days and the hours maybe you don't even want the seconds you only want the milliseconds or the other way maybe you want to get rid of the milliseconds and only have the seconds that's going to be up to you for this purpose of this video, we're going to drag it over and leave the seconds and milliseconds. Now here you can just go ahead and basically change the color like this. You see right behind there it turned to red. Or you can come over to shading and really customize it way more. You can go ahead and make it a gradient. You can really customize this the same way you can customize any text. So I'm just going to slap a quick customization on it right here. Just to go ahead and make it look a little bit better. We'll go ahead and add an outline. We're not going to want red though. We're going to want black. Make it a little thicker. Boom. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop a drop shadow as well. So there we go. And you see, we're going to go ahead and drag this over and down to the middle. That's usually a good spot down in the bottom middle or middle top where you're going to want to have that. So you see this counts good. But at the end of it, it's not stopping. We want it to stop right here. So go ahead and place a cut right there. Control B or use the blade tool right here. And then once you have the playheads right in the middle of where that cut is, select the second text plus now that we have come up to the inspector under here and you're going to do the opposite of what we did to start the time clock right click come down to remove time code boom right there so as you can see counting and boom it stops and holds that time for as long as you drag it this text plus out the second one that way you have time to talk about whatever it is the speed run or the race or whatever but before the time you probably want it to hold zero and then start right at that particular cut well there's an easy way to do that as well select this middle text plus Hold the Alt key or just really copy the text any way you would like to. I'm holding Alt and dragging it up. And then we'll go ahead and put this down in front of that exact same text plus. Put the playhead at the very beginning. Select that first text plus now. And you do the same thing you did with the last one once the playhead's at the start. Right click up here and go to remove time code. Boom. So now it is zero, 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 zero and start. And then it counts and counts and counts and counts. And then it goes ahead and stops exactly where you want it, holding the time so you can go ahead and talk about it. Hopefully this video helped you out and thank you for watching.